Hello friends, welcome once again to Rick's Garage. This is going to be a very short video. I've discovered a new tool and I want to share it with you folks. I think it's uh, a wonderful thing to add to anyone's tool collection. It's called a wrench extender. What you see before you is just an ordinary nut that I have clamped in my vise for demonstration purposes. Now how many times in the past have you found yourself with a nut that you have to remove and you do not have enough room to get a socket and a breaker bar on it? So you put your wrench on it like so and you find that you do not have enough leverage to get the bolt off. So what are your options? None of them are good. One option is to take your wrench and bang it with a hammer, risking hurting yourself. Usually this doesn't work. Another option is to take a second wrench, connect it into it, and use that for extra leverage. Sometimes it'll slip off, you'll hurt yourself. The last option, and I'm ashamed to say I've actually done, is to remove the wrench, find an old wrench, and cut off the end of it and slip a pipe over it. I found a tool that solves all these problems. Whenever I find a tool like this, I like to share it with you folks. So you slip your ordinary combination wrench over your limited access nut. To gain extra leverage, you take your wrench extender, flip it over the wrench and it doubles your leverage. It can't slip off. It's very safe. I absolutely love it. Well, that's about all I've got today, folks. I just wanted to share this tool with you. I do not know how long it's been available. All I know is I discovered it this past week. I immediately ordered one. Now, if any of you out there are interested in purchasing this tool, first I want to say I'm not associated with the manufacturer of this tool, nor am I getting any kind of promotion. If you are indeed interested, log in to your eBay account and perform a search for wrench extender. You'll find several vendors that are selling it. So I want to uh, thank you for watching Rick's Garage. And one more thing before I go, I just this past week obtained my 2000th subscriber. So I want to thank you all very much for that. And hopefully we'll see you next time on Rick's Garage.